Hey ladies, how are you this evening? My name is Susie Watkins and I'm an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. And today I am going to show you my version of the Paparazzi Basket Party. Um, I think by now most of us are um, comfortable with doing Facebook Live parties and we really started, at least most of the women on my team have started to really only use the Facebook parties and the posts and um, albums to do our sales with. And that's great, except for you're missing out on such a huge, huge market of people. So what I teach my team and what I think is important for every consultant to know is that you need to have five different ways to show your wares. And for me, I mean, there's tons of them out there. I'm sure you can find them. But for me, I do, yes, Facebook Lives with the posts and the albums. Um, I also do events, so you can do vendor events. I uh, host uh, boutique parties, so I have a boutique inside my house, and so I let people use my house for home parties. I will go and do uh, parties in home. I have a really simple um, setup for heading out and setting up really quick, so check that video out uh, on my quick setup because it's really easy. And bling bags or um, basket parties. Bling bags is the bag that you carry around with you and I do that too. But this is a basket party. So what is a basket party? A basket party is when you are asking one of your friends or one of your customers if they want to host a party for you and they're like, I don't have time. My house isn't big enough. Um, I don't want to have to clean. I mean, there's so many reasons why people don't want to do a home party. But if you said, hey, what if I could give you a basket full of jewelry and you could just take it with you wherever you go, show it to your friends, and the rewards are going to be the same. So this way, she doesn't have to clean her house and hire a babysitter and have this food and pick a date and just all that craziness, right? She's going to take it wherever she goes and let people know how fabulous this jewelry is. So I'm going to show you really quick what is in my bag because I think it's important for you to see what it is that I do. So this is my bag that I would give to someone if they were going to do a basket party. I've got the bag off of the um, back office. It's like $5. Super inexpensive, but you can use any bag that you want. Don't have to use this bag at all. Of course, you're going to have your jewelry in here. And then I have a binder, and I'll explain what's in the binder. But let me first show you the jewelry. This is an oatmeal container with the oatmeal lid and I covered it with the um, contact paper. Popped a hole in the lid and off of Amazon, I got these twirly ties. It keeps all your jewelry from tangling, especially, especially your long pieces. Now, I usually keep a space in between each one so that it doesn't get too, um, too crammed so they can really see the jewelry, but you know, you could totally go ahead and put 20 pieces on this one. And it just goes back in here, and it's a great way for um, your friend to carry the jewelry around, and it won't get, won't get tangled. I'm just going to put it back in the box there. All right, so we've got 20 pieces in there already. How crazy is that? Then I have the rest of the jewelry in this box. This is the box that when I signed up, my jewelry came in. I signed up with a $99 kit and this was the box and I saved it. You can use any box you want. You can go to Michael's and um, get one of their treasure boxes or any type of box. And I've redone this 110 times, guys. I've done it um, where I prepackaged the jewelry with the cardstock and the plastic things. Um, I've organized it so that it's all perfect. And I gotta tell you, when the women see the $5 jewelry bin, they just start going through it anyway. So it doesn't matter how perfect it is. I mean, I think they find it more fun to just kind of dig through it. So when I open up my box here, let me see if I can do this and show you at the same time. Open up my box. The first thing that you see, and I got this off of Amazon, it is a mirror. And it is a, it's just like a piece of paper almost. Um, very lightweight. I carry this. Hang on just a second. It unstuck. I carry one of these when I do all of my events too because it doesn't break and it's super lightweight. I think I got two of them 
um, for, oh, look at my office back there. I got two of them for $12 off of Amazon. And if you can see, I just have it command stripped right here so that the girls can see what it looks like on them. Okay, so first off, we have that. Comes with our kits, right? So I protect the jewelry with that. I made this little sign and, and I laminated it. Yours can just be a piece of cardstock, whatever, with a $5, just so people know how much the jewelry is. And when you open it up, here it is. Now I've organized it. Right here, I have 10 short necklaces. I went through and did a lot of variety, big pieces, little pieces, but I kept it to 10. And I have 10 long ne necklaces in here. So I like to give 20 necklaces, quite a few, right? Then in this bin, I have 20 pair of earrings and, excuse me, these are bracelets. That's a bracelet, that goes over here. These are earrings. So I have 20 earrings and I've just kept them because these are my extras. So I've just kept them right in the package. And then I have 20 bracelets, all different kinds, bangles, stretch, cuff, all of my snaps in here. So 20, 40, 60 pieces of jewelry. Um, the only thing that I didn't put in here was rings, and I would probably put another 10 rings in here, so 70, piece of, 70 pieces of jewelry, and my friend could, if she sold them all, she could earn seven free pieces of jewelry, plus she's going to get a free piece for just simply taking the basket for me. If anybody hosts a basket party from her, she's going to get another free piece, so she could literally earn up to 10 free pieces. What I did forget to tell you is I have... This little, this little bag, I think a curtain came in it. Um, you could use it as a block bag, seriously. And I have 20 starlet shimmer pieces in here, but keep them separate and let your customer know to really kind of look at these so that she knows what she's charging people. She's not charging $5 for these necklaces or these bracelets and earrings. So I have bracelets, earrings, and rings in here. And there's 20 pieces in there also. Okay. Now, this is where... It can get confusing and people want to know, well, how does this work? So I have a little fancy, fancy little blingy bat, uh, binder here. And first thing is our agreement. This tells them how many pieces are in there that they're responsible for. Tons of information on this page. I always make sure that there's two in the binder, one for them and one for me. We both sign it. It tells them um, exactly how many pieces are in here, what types of pieces are in here, what day they're taking it from, and when they're going to be bringing it back, and their signature along with credit card number for lost, damaged, or stolen items. This is really important, guys. They have to know that if they're taking this basket, they're responsible for it. And you have to let them know that. Um, also in here is I ask if someone does purchase something. I've given her two sheets to have her friends write down their information so that I can connect with them later on. Also, I have business cards in here, and I'll show you those in just a second. The next page is Hostess Instructions. Tells them how to have a good basket party. The next page is stuck. So how many free will I get? This explains exactly what the hostess rewards are for her. And the next page, FAQs, because people are going to be asking her questions. So we have them all down right here for them. And for you to be able to just print off and she can refer to this real quick. She's your little sales lady, so you gotta prepare her. And of course, back here, have you ever thought of doing what I do? It just gives a lot of benefits to being a paparazzi consultant because when that customer starts taking all that dough for those pieces that she's selling and realizing that that could have been her money instead of just the um, free pieces, she might think a little differently. And this just is another informational um, sheet about how you can get started with the $99 kit, the $299 kit, or the $499 kit. So lots of information for your host. In the back of the binder, I have the bags. 
and inside each bag is my business card and I actually have bigger cards now. Um, they're almost like a postcard that I put in here so that her customers know how they can get a hold of me. And of course, the last thing is a money bag. This is an old makeup bag that I had and you wanna make sure that you put change in here. You wanna make sure that the, that money is accounted for and that it is also written here, here <laughs> on your um, agreement. If she does take some of your cash, she has to bring it back. Um, you can also, and what I'm going to consider adding on there is my handle for Zelle and for Venmo and people can just go in and Zelle and Venmo and she can write, write that down. And, um, that way we will know it'll make it a little bit easier for her. And, um, or you can have them Zelle or Venmo the money to your hostess and then your hostess can give you cash or a check at the very, very end or she can sell the money to you. I mean, that might be a great way. I just thought of that as I was going on. They can sell her, she can keep track of it, and then she can sell it to you. So no money is is being held on to. So that might even be a much, much better um, way to do it. But the important thing is, is that you put something together that doesn't cost you a lot, you have a lot of variety in there, and you go out and you ask your friends because you wouldn't believe how many people just don't even know that it's a thing. And they would love to do that for you. So um, go out there, put your bags together. Don't spend a ton of money because they're just going to dig through it anyway. Make sure that you have all the paperwork that you need. And I will put links to it down in the comments here. I got them from the Papa Rockstar's um, website. And I'm just using theirs because why reinvent the wheel when they've worked it out really well. So I'll put the link to the Papa Rockstar's website down there and that way you can use them too. So thank you so much for, for them and their podcast for putting together um, this information for us. I want to give a shout out to them and um, go out there and and get some basket parties going. Let your jewelry that you've got sitting in in your home, get it out there working for you. Be smart about it though. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. You can also uh, subscribe to my page and um, sign up for notifications because I'm always putting new information on here to share with other consultants who, you know, we all just need to be together and help each other do better and succeed. So that is my goal is just to share what I know with anybody who wants to learn it and to help, help them just succeed and do better. It's so fun to be able to do that. If you are not a paparazzi consultant, I said that wrong. It's not paparazzi, it's paparazzi consultant and you're thinking that what is this all about let me know message me all my information's down in the link I would love to talk to you about it send you some more information and just see if this is something that's for you just know that um, choosing your consultant that you sign up under is really important okay so make sure that you sign up under somebody who you know is going to give you some help um, navigating a network marketing business when you don't have any experience can be a little daunting. So make sure that you choose the person who is sponsoring you well. Um, I say that from experience and that's why I'm doing videos like this so that I can just share what I know because other people did the same thing and just shared what they knew and I put my own spin on it and I'm sending it back out to you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on basket parties and I can't wait to hear how your parties go. All right, go out there and make the world beautiful. Have a great day, guys.